Welcome to our moving vlog, everybody. So today is Wednesday the 19th of December and Nick and I have just gone back from the final inspection of the house, which is where we go around and make sure things like all of the light switches work, the water pressure, the oven and the dishwasher are all working and things like that. Um, I took a few photos and we noted down a few things that we want to talk to our lawyer about but pretty much everything is all good. It's moving day! So it has just gone 9.30 uh, and Nick and I are just getting everything sorted here like taking the bed apart and getting everything sorted. This room already feels so much more echoey, it's really weird. Um, annoyingly, I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's like a really shit day today. It's super super windy and the forecast is pretty much for rain all day. Um, so Nick and I are wanting to hopefully get the keys as soon as possible so that we can move all of our stuff in and it not get wet. But um, I think I said this on Wednesday, which would have been like the clip before this one for you guys, that there were a few things at the final inspection um, that we needed to sort out. And unfortunately I have been battling, or my lawyer and I have been battling um, to get it sorted, but it's proving to be a bit more difficult than we first thought. Um, so hopefully all of these issues get resolved soon and then we can finally have the keys. Okay, so it is just gone 12.30. As you can probably see behind me, the car is already stopped. Um, we decided that we were gonna load up the car so that when we did get the call from the real estate agent to pick up the keys and we'd all be ready, we have just had that call and we were already out doing some things in town anyway. So result, it's a bit disappointing that we didn't get everything sorted that we wanted to do, but hey ho, moving on onwards and upwards, uh, we're gonna get the keys and then go to the house and hopefully start moving everything in before it just looks like a grey sky but it's gonna start raining soon so hopefully before the rain hits. Right so we just got to the new house it's super windy but we have the keys! Yay! This is exciting now. We're here we're in our new home! So we're quickly gonna film um, like an empty house tour with uh, our Osmo so it's like the stabilizer thing before Nick's friend gets here purely because I feel like he'll tease me if I'm doing a house tour when he arrives. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then we are going to go and get a rug doctor so we can clean the carpets because unfortunately that's one of the things that we were like having discussions about and um, the carpets have not been cleaned so we're going to clean the carpets and then we're going to move in and then it's going to get super exciting. Okay so it has just gone 5.30 and we have pretty much finished cleaning so it took us about four and a half hours or so so not exactly the most ideal situation but hey now it's done um all the rug doctoring has been done so we need to take that back the boys have just gone to go and grab a bit more furniture because it's spitting now like it's been spitting on and off all day but it's about to start pouring so we want to try and move of um as much of it as we can before it does start getting pretty terrible um things are looking a bit messy this is the current kitchen layout just gotta like put stuff away and then we have moved oh there's our bed. Um, we've moved all of the stuff into what is going to be my office for now. Um, so this is some of the boxes and there's some that we've still got to go and get just so everything can be in one place. I've started unpacking a bit of stuff that I know where it's going to go like you know putting our toothbrushes in the bathroom and I've started putting some of the kitchen stuff um, away so you can see there we've got like our toaster and our kettle and things like that. Um, but I don't know how much more we are going to get done tonight because Although um, we have cleaned all the carpets, they're still damp, so we don't really want to be putting anything on them. Um, we made sure that we did our bedroom and their office first, so that they'd have time to dry before we moved in all of the stuff, and for our bedrooms that we could put the bed on and sleep in there tonight. Um, so hopefully that'll all be good. Um, I might just unpack some more of the kitchen for now, because as I said, I don't really want to go walking on all of the other carpets. <laughs> Welcome to the first official day in our new house. Um, Nick and I woke up at about 5.30 this morning, not by choice, um, but the smoke alarm downstairs battery was going flat, so we woke up to all this beeping and it took us a while to figure out A, where we were, and then B, what the noise was. Um, but the good news that that meant was that we actually got up early and we've been doing a lot of the things that we needed to do. So it is now uh, almost 9.30 and I have put away all of the clothes in our wardrobes, not in any order, but just at least now we can get the suitcases out of the way and get them out of the way. I've started to put things in the rooms that they belong, so as you can see here, like, I mean, everything is still a mess, but we're getting there. Um, so we're now gonna rush out, not rush, but now we're gonna go out to 
uh, minor 10 I think in Briscoe's and just get a few more things that we need because we need a couple of like storage units for here and in my office um, and we didn't buy them beforehand because we thought we'd move in and then like see what we needed but then we also didn't think about the fact that we can't unpack the things that are going to go on the shelves until we have the shelves 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 we now have a fridge and also a shit ton of cardboard that came with it uh, we also just went and bought this microwave that fits perfectly as well annoyingly when i got the stuff um it's here in my mouth from a shop in new zealand called harvey norman we paid a delivery fee and we had to pay like a separate delivery fee for the couches and then also for the fridge because technically they're like two different departments um but the guy only told us we needed to organize one like actual delivery but then the guy just came and bought the fridge and said that he doesn't have the couches so i just had to go and ring up to organize the couches being delivered um and it's too late for them to be delivered today so we're gonna have to wait until next week for them which is all good but we were gonna have some people come around tonight um for dinner because we're gonna go and get the tv right now um but if they do come around we're just gonna have to sit on the floor Okay, so I forgot to take my camera with me on those last couple of trips, but now, apart from the barbecue, which is still in next dad's house because it doesn't fit in our car, we're officially all moved in, which is super exciting. Now, we just need to tidy up because everything's a mess. Let me show you the current state of our bedroom. It's a disaster. I also need to put the duvet cover on the bed, but we got like new sheets and a new duvet cover and last night I got super enthusiastic and thought I was going to change all the sheets and then I got caught up doing other stuff and then realized I was ridiculously tired so we just slept with like the old sheets and then um a non-covered duvet cover last night um but it is now 4 34 so it took us about what like 24 hours obviously with a bit of sleep in between to move everything in which is all good um I'm now going to change into some cozy clothes and start unpacking so guys there's been a disaster i don't know when i last spoke to you but it is now 5 45 and i am just building this bookshelf um which is taking a while because i was also on the phone to the internet guy because our internet uh said it was supposed to be connected but it wasn't working then it turns out the previous people who were living here their internet doesn't finish for like another week so um our internet provider can't take over the internet until then so slightly annoying but not the end of the world um i also had bought gnocchi for dinner which if you guys know is one of my favorite foods because it's like carbs and carbs so why not um and i was really excited to cook for the first time in our new kitchen even though right now it looks like an absolute tip um and then i just realized that nick and i never actually bought any pots and pans like one of the first things uh, when we came back we went shopping at the shop called Briscoe's in New Zealand which always has sales, it's all like homeware and stuff uh, and I think we just looked at pots and pans for a long time and then both of us over time thought that we'd actually bought some but I just got here and I was like one thing I haven't seen is the pots and pans so there'll be no knocky for me tonight because I cannot be bothered to leave the house again um, so I think we might just get another night of takeaways and then tomorrow I was gonna say being healthy starts, but I don't really think Noki counts as being healthy. Good morning, so it is currently Sunday morning. Um, I can't remember the last clip that I filmed last night. I think it was us building uh, the shelves to go into our lounge. Um, but we've unpacked pretty much all of the boxes now, other than the stuff in my office, um, which is good because it means everything is out. It's not necessarily in the final place that it's gonna go, but we're getting rid of like a ton, a ton of boxes and things. So it's starting to come together. Um, we are also right now just on our way to pick up a few more things that we need. Um, and then we're also gonna go and do our first big supermarket shop, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, anyone who has ever moved house before, I'm sure you know when you have like the first supermarket shop, you don't have anything in your house. So you need to literally get like all of the spices, things like, you know, flour and baking ingredients and everything. Um, so yeah, I think that's the plan for this morning. And then, we're gonna go home this afternoon and unpack a bit more, maybe get started on my office if I can. And then I think uh, some of Nick's family and friends are gonna come around to see the house as well because they haven't seen it yet. You know you spend too much at the supermarket where they need to fold your receipt over this many times. Oops.
6.15 um, and I've made a lot of progress in my office which I'm super excited about so I'm going to show you around. First of all I put up my desk and then my chair uh, I've got a little pink pillow for it and then I got this thing from the warehouse and I've started to put um, some little bits and pieces onto it. These are some Polaroids of me and my sister. Um, so that's looking good and then Nick also very kindly built me the other shelf unit which is the same one that we have in our lounge. Um, so again, I've just started chucking stuff onto it, but right now it's definitely not going to look like this when it's finished. And I've also started getting out some of my prints. So I bought a frame for this one because I just bought that print back, but I didn't bring um, the frame back. Um, but then I've also just put these into a frame. So this is the whole entire Alice in Wonderland book. Um, if I lean in kind of close, sorry about the shadow, but you can kind of see there that's like thin words. And this is from... Um, I think Spittlefields Market, there's a guy who does these really cool prints. He does like the whole book on like a AO, I'm assuming, piece of paper. Um, but this was a Christmas present from my parents last Christmas, I think? I don't know. Um, but I'm finally getting to like hang them up and I think it looks super cool. I'm feeling really good about the amount of progress that we have made um, in like the 48 hours just over that we've had the keys to this place. Um, I really wanted to like unpack relatively soon just because I've had stuff in storage at various different levels pretty much for like some of it two and a half years, some of it for six months and then we've been living out of suitcases since March so being able to like actually unpack my whole wardrobe and get out the things that really make me happy and that I want to like put around my house it's a super good feeling. Um, I'm also going to end this video here because I feel like it's really long. Uh, next week I will be uploading an empty house tour which we filmed just before or just after we got the keys to this place and then I think I'm also going to do maybe like an office tour when it's completely finished um, and I kind of want to do like an unboxing video as well I'm not sure how that's going to go but stick around for the coming weeks for some more content uh, thank you very much for watching I'm excited to take you guys as I said on the journey of like us fully unpacking and then doing DIY stuff to this house and things like that um, and I'm also excited that this is going to be my new background I'll show you this way but this is going to be my new background for when I film, so I'll actually be able to start filming proper videos again, which I'm super excited about. Um, so yeah, stick around to see more. Let me know again what you guys have been doing this week, because I do really enjoy seeing what you guys have been getting up to. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later on. Bye!